Hey guys, what's up? I Sec the Tron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with another war recap video uh, back in 3 Star Union. And uh, you guys uh, who are in the clan know that we had a few hiccups against Drakenhausen, Toppenwapple, um, a loss in the tie, but we're still sitting at 22, uh, 3 and 3. So pretty good so far, and looks like we're getting back on track to get another winning streak going. Uh, we're not going to waste any time on the Iraq uh, war or the Iraq Shield War right there, because it was a blowout. But we'll look at the infamous Empire War, because pretty close. Um, they struggled on our top bases, uh, but three started the bottom. And we kind of did the same, but we did a little bit better on their top bases. That's still something we need to work on, uh, is getting the two stars, especially on all these bases, um, and three starring some of them too. But uh, it's a work in progress, and we'll look at some of the good attacks from this war. Alright, Mr. Frog on number four. Um, if A lot of times, you know, people want to use the golem based attacks, like uh, with Valks and stuff. But if you have level four hogs at Town Hall 8 and you see a base like this, there's no question you have to hog it. Because they're so powerful at level four against Town Hall 8s, especially if you know there's not many places for giant bombs. Um, or spring traps if that matters, so this is an easy base to hog. The only thing is those Valks are tricky in the clan castle, and um, he, he needs to drop his archers and his wizards all kind of at once, not one at a time. So you want to drop, you know, f five archers and then, you know, four wizards all in a circle around the Valks and make the Valks run back and forth because they obviously can't shoot. So has a little bit of trouble dealing with them, so that's my recommendation. Is drop all those troops at once, uh, spread out. Don't uh, drop them one at a time because it let, let the Valks take them out. Uh, but anyway, hogs come in. Uh, two finger drops them on in. Another CC four hogs at the top. So I'm gonna take all that out and it'll make the way into the base. Um, nice and patient on the heels, only using them where he needs them. Uh, first heel goes down right there. Nice placement. Could have been a little bit lower, but it's all right. And then. Maybe a tiny bit late in the second heal, but gets the job done. Uh, placement's pretty solid, and uh, Hog's going to keep moving through. He'll, he has that last heal for when they all converge near the air sweeper at the bottom, so that's good. And then you can see these skeleton traps are popping out. Um, he still has that poison, so if I was him, you, you can either use the poison on the skeleton traps because uh, it saves you a few Hogs. In this case, it didn't. Or it, didn't make a big difference because he had so many hogs left, but usually you want to use that on the skeleton traps uh, once they group up on your hogs. Or you can use it on the Valks because it does slow them down. So the CC troops, like the Valks and the CC, because it does slow them down. So it helps uh, your wizards and archers shoot them uh, while they're, and they're not able to run around and inside the circle and take out uh, as many of your wizards and archers and stuff. So you can use it in either case, but Hog split all right. Uh, giant bombs are starting to go off now. Uses his king to take out the enemy king. That was good. Uh, so taking out last few uh, buildings just has to get the town hall. So we'll fast forward. Uh, nice job, Mr. Frog, on that three star. Alrighty, let's look at Tecmo on seven. Um, you know, you see a lot of Town Hall 7 bases like this, where the air defense is, you know, level 5, and then they're, they're, like, in a symmetrical base, kind of right near the Town Hall. But these are really easy to take out, even with level 1 dragons. Uh, just Lightning Spell, one of them. Uh, you can elect to lure out the CC, you can, it doesn't matter. Uh, Tecmo chooses to lure out the dragon there. Uh, brings it down to the bottom. We'll fast forward a little bit. And then what I like here is, uh, uses dragons to kill it, which is good, but... Spreads out the dragons, so the splash damage isn't going to kill them. Because that one dragon in the CC does splash damage. So if he drops both his dragons in the same place, it'll damage both of his dragons simultaneously. Uh, whereas by dropping one on each side of the of the defensive dragon, uh, only one of his dragons is taking damage. So that was nice. And then sending the rest of the dragons in. Um, CC with a level 3 dragon. Uh, so they're going to make their way in. Um, take out the king first and then go for that air defense if it's like a symmetrical base and you don't know uh, which side to attack from uh, in this case the king was right in the middle too but if the king's off to one side attack from the other side because 
your dragons are typically going to lock on to him, and it takes them a while to t uh, kill him. So I would recommend if the king's on one side of the base and you don't know, and you know it's symmetrical, but the king's on one side, uh, attack uh, towards the opposite side of the king and just lightning spell the air defense near the king because the king is pretty high HP and it takes a while to get him down. So he can distract your dragons for a while. Plus he walks around, so it kind of takes your dragon to weird places. Uh, so I just would recommend t attacking away from him if you can. Uh, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, don't change up your whole attack because of the king. It's basically a tiebreaker if you don't know what side to attack from. Alright, nice to be started with tech mode. We'll take a look at one more. Uh, Phoenix on number 9. Some low-level gameplay. Uh, more dragons. So let's take a look at this. Uh, lightning spells that one air defense there, and then a nice hog to lure out the CC. Now, because there are hogs in the CC, he doesn't necessarily have to even kill them because he has dragons. Uh, he elects to go ahead and do it now uh, by dropping that dragon and then a few wizards. So, not that big of a deal, but the dragon will take care of them. Uh, and they could, I guess, attack his king. So, goes ahead and gets those out of the way with the dragon. And then... Uh, nice job up here on the funneling. Uh, you can see just dropping dragons on each side of the air defense to create the funnel. Uh, taking out those army camps. The one thing I warn people is don't use too many dragons to funnel. If you're only bringing, let's say, I think you brought nine dragons. Um, if you're bringing nine dragons, you can afford to use two on each funnel and then have five going in. But you want to have your main group of dragons be at least five. Uh, for this one, it wasn't that big of a deal, and he does have the balloons, which helps. But sometimes, uh, if you use too many dragons to funnel, you don't have enough dragons actually going into the funnel and going into the base. So that can make it so you can't get to the air defenses you want to get to. So just be cautious of that. You can always use minions or something to funnel too. You don't have to waste a whole dragon to funnel. But works out fine from here. Balloons are a good touch within the CC. And yeah. V-Star, nice job, Phoenix. Uh, that's it for this war. I'm really sorry, guys, I haven't been getting as many videos uploaded. Um, but I'm going to do my best. I'm streaming today also at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, East Coast time. So by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be about then. So make sure to check me out uh, by Seth Detron is my profile name on Camcord. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do my best to get some more out uh, today, tomorrow, next few days. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectron out.